Hey YouTube, welcome to Cycling Dutch and my review of the Knipex pliers wrench. This wrench comes in several different sizes. This is kind of a medium sized one. Uh, it's a 250 millimeter wrench. And for comparison, I also have a 250 millimeter um, adjustable wrench. This is, every, most people are familiar with this. The way this works is you spin this wheel, if I get this, uh, to adjust the jaws, and you adjust them until you know they fit around whatever whatever it is you're trying to turn. The way this one works, you have a button here to open the jaws, open and close the jaws. You want to open them so they're close to the right size for whatever you're trying to turn and then you just kind of use it like a wrench and you grab it like that and turn it. Okay, and what I wanted to do in this video is just quickly go through the advantages and disadvantages. Well, the, the reason people like these is because, and the, well, the, actually the reason people don't like these is because there's, everybody who's used this knows that there's a little bit of play here in the jaw. Um, it's not really a big deal for a big, uh, a big nut like this, but if you're trying to turn a smaller nut, um, it's actually quite easy to round it off, especially if you have to put a lot of um, force into it. With this tool, you can also grab small nuts like that. And um, it actually, it doesn't slip. It's the reason is when I push on this handle, you're actually squeezing the the pliers together and increasing the force on the nut. And I mean, you can really, really torque torque any kind of nut down with this. So that's I think the main reason people buy this. The reason I bought it is because the jaws open 46 millimeters. So for example, there's no problems turning this. Uh, this is a bottom bracket tool. Um, yeah, it's even too big now, adjusted too big. Or this kind of a cassette tool. You can also turn uh, headsets on bicycles, for example. And uh, this uh, adjustable wrench happens to be big enough to turn this bottom bracket tool, but it's, it's at the maximum. Whereas the pliers wrench is, well, it's quite a bit bigger, I think. So it is a pretty significant difference. That's the reason I got it. So, for turning any kind of nut that's either large or where there's a risk of slipping and rounding off the, the nut, this is a fantastic tool. So there's uh, some real advantages to this kind of a uh, wrench over this kind of a wrench, especially if you don't have the proper size open-ended wrench. So I really like it. I think it's worth it. But there are definitely some disadvantages. Well, the first thing, in case you can't tell, I'm doing this video one-handed. And it's very difficult to adjust one-handed. I mean, I, you can, but you can't really get the size right easily. And turns out that that's actually a, a really big disadvantage because say you're turning, say if this small nut was on the end of connected to a bolt and I was holding the other end with, I don't know, maybe this or, or a proper wrench, it is kind of a pain to have to put that one down and use your second hand to adjust this pliers. So that's the first disadvantage, and it's kind of a major one, and um, it also goes along with the second disadvantage, which is, and I'm not sure if I can demonstrate this one very well. Let me just use that. Um, get it adjusted here. Let's see. Let go a bit bigger. Okay. It's actually also a bit difficult to turn 
um, not quickly because see you turn it like this then you have to open and if it's adjusted so that the handles are far apart it's a bit of a stretch you pull it out in a different direction and then you turn to go back in like this whereas with this kind of a tool it's, it's much lighter and it's much more like using a normal wrench I mean you, you can have your hand up here instead of down at the end and you just turn out turn out turn out I don't know if you can tell that that's an easier motion I try it again with this one you know, it's open, in, close, turn, open, out. It's a bit of an awkward motion. So for ease of use, um, well, it's not that easy to use. <laughs> but um, the... Um, amount of grip you have with this is so much more than this that that um, it's still worth having in my opinion okay what else was I going to mention hmm oh yeah the other thing well I already mentioned that it's lighter the other thing is even though this has some play here this has a very fine adjustment I mean you can adjust it a little bit or a lot, however you want this one. The way you adjust it is you push in this button, and it engages these little uh, these little cutouts. What you can tell, like for example, right now the button is still pushed in and it's not engaged. You have to push it up or down, so it's it's not as fine. I mean, it fits any size, but it does mean that sometimes you end up with the handles very close together, or very far open. If it's very far open like this, it's less comfortable to use. Okay, third disadvantage, the cost. This is kind of a no-name um, adjustable wrench, but you can buy something like this for under 10 euros. Maybe say, let's say 10 euros. This is more like 50 euros, so <laughs> quite a significant difference. Even if you buy an open-ended wrench from a reputable manufacturer, I was looking at one like this from Ghidorah. They're a German tool manufacturer, and it was like 12 bucks, 12 euros. And yeah, this one uh, is more like 50 euros or more. So that's that. That's the pliers wrench. Um, if I get a tripod, I might do another two-handed video on this but um, yeah I hope that gives you a little bit of insight into how this works and what you can use it for the advantages and um, the disadvantages in fact the advantages of this are so much that um, now that I have it it's almost an irreplaceable tool because the jaws open so widely I mean the size open end wrench you need this is like 46 millimeters I don't know what that is in inches I mean it's almost I mean like an inch and a half that's a pretty big wrench so it it is very it is a very useful tool to have especially for turning all these little uh, bicycle specific things like these ones you get from park or um, yeah you can use it to turn a headset things like that so good tool but awkward to use difficult to adjust heavy difficult to use one-handed um, yeah along with that just just uh, it is sometimes a bit difficult at this angle to fit it into the spot that you want. I mean, if you want, to, if you had to go straight in, it's difficult. And this whole head is is quite wide. I mean, I guess so is the adjustable wrench. So it's not really um, there's not really much of a difference. But there are many situations where you can't reach what you're trying to with this wrench. But um, 
yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the the review, although it was a bit disorganized. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.